Hey everyone, this is Alex, and I'm going to be giving some starter tips for playing these survivalists. I'm going to go over things like expanding your inventory, getting these monkeys to do a lot of the dirty work for you, how to get off this island, and a few other things you'll want to do right from the start. This is going to be kind of let's play style, but I'm going to go in and like chop it all up so I'm not wasting your whole day with this one video. So let's just go ahead and get started. All right, we have Awoken on the Beach, Link's Awakening style, and the very first thing we want to do is primarily try to expand our storage here at the bottom because you're going to see we're going to be quickly filling that up. Not going to take much time at all. So we're going to be gathering some basics. You know how to do all this. But then our next goal is to find a monkey and build us a chest. So after the bed, we're going to need to make a campfire because we're trying to unlock the storage box, which is actually located right here. It is currently locked, but after we build this, it should spring into action. Oh, bam, there you go, a small chest. So now our main goal is to find us a monkey, which are your little worker buddies that are going to help you out. Oh, here we go, we found one already. Uh, some of them will require you to feed them a certain meal, and some will just be in boxes like this guy here. So he's saved, he'll now follow us around, help us out. But specifically, we're going to use him as our pack mule to have much, much more space when we walk around. So this guy's already set to follow, but we're going to make sure he's following us. We're going to pick up our chest. We're going to hand that over to him. And now you have a mobile storage box that will pretty much travel with you until you tell him to stop traveling with you. So you can open that up. He doesn't even have to plunk it down. We can throw all of our excess stuff in there and kind of go about our business. And that is the fastest and easiest way to expand your storage in the early game. That's going to save you a lot of time. So another good thing to teach this guy, we're going to actually have him drop the chest. And then we're going to train him to pick up this junk for us and actually deposit into that chest instead of us. So if you put him into teach mode, I'm going to throw him that little banana that's indicating he's in learning mode. We're going to pick up something, going to open this up, throw it in there. And now he has learned that, so he's going to go run around and pick up all this stuff. So, say you get to a spot where you really want to just focus on, you know, smacking on stuff and collecting. You can just put the chest down, uh, smack away, and just let him pick everything else up. So next, this one's kind of more optional, but if you want even more storage than just this amount of slots, there is an expanded chest we can get fairly easily by finding the Mysterious Stranger, which requires you to venture out and... Just kind of aimlessly explore around your island. He's going to be different for everybody else. But that's going to give us a really quick and easy expanded storage for our monkey to carry around for us. So I don't necessarily need the monkey in the storage chest for uh, this part because we're going to be mostly just looking around, not picking up a whole lot of stuff. So while we're away, we're going to have him clear out this jungle for us. So we're going to put him into teach mode. Going to go smack on a tree. They are going to hand him a tool where he can actually do that on his own. And now he's going to just start smacking away at stuff. So hopefully by the time we get back, all of this should be cleared out and there's going to be tons of stuff on the ground to further pick up. So this first island is not too treacherous. There are some enemies we're going to come across, but nothing you can't handle if you just run around. And we are looking for the mysterious stranger, but also there is our first monkey. We're going to plop down one of these meals. He's going to come chomp on it. And now we have earned his love and affection. So if you didn't have one of these monkey meals prepped ahead of time, if you come across a monkey, you could always go in here and mark it on your map. And then you can come back to it later. That's a good way to indicate where those are at because they're very, very important. So there we have spotted yet another monkey. Let's go ahead and get him on our team. And let's go ahead and make both of these guys some basic clubs so they can help us with some combat. So make sure to actually give the clubs to them, and they're not going to fight just on their own quite yet. We have to teach them how to fight, just like everything else in the game. And we got very lucky, there is the Mysterious Stranger. Let's go ahead and teach them how to fight right now. So put them into teach mode, and go smack on them. And now they have learned the art of combat. Uh, if you want to just, you can click and drag on PC and you can pick both of them and go to teach. That's another way to easily assign them both to learn mode. So now that we've found the mysterious stranger, in order to unlock his shop, we have to provide his first task here, which is three rope. You can make those very, very easily. 
task fulfilled and then the very first thing over here it's only a 30 gold is the mysterious chest and just like that we have a gigantic thing of storage very nice and we can have one of our monkeys hold this and now we have that just portable on the go super super helpful this saves you tons of time oh also one last thing before you leave here you have to go to this box and actually collect your reward which is the spyglass so what we have here is a vault this is like a mini dungeon these are procedural just like the rest of the map and there's some loot to gain here there's treasure chests you can smack open they have rarer materials and you can probably make at the time at least starting out And now you can just kind of, you know, smack away in combat, but the game really wants you to do counters, like what I just did here. If, if you watch when the enemy does that exclamation mark above their head, uh, if you do a roll right during that time and then press the attack button, you'll do kind of like a two to three hit combo right then after. There's another monkey for us in here. There's a chest, actually three chests, good find. This is also one of the easiest ways to access a great bench, which is some of the more rare items and weapons that you won't be able to make for quite a while, but that is a way to do that. So I went and ventured out on my own because I want to demonstrate something a little better than what I showed off in that vault, uh, the counter mechanic there. As you can see, I'm dodging right when that exclamation point pops up and then you just hit attack once and it does that three string combo. I find that to be a little more reliable than the traditional just uh, smacking away. All right, we've gotten back home. Let's see what our clearing out the forest monkey has done. Oh, uh, he's made some progress. This tool must have broke. It sure did. So the better tools you give them, the longer they can do their tasks. So he was only able to clear out some, but still pretty helpful for us. Now we're going to assign this guy doesn't have any job. Let's go ahead and teach him how to pick up this junk laying around. So we're going to pick something up. We're going to plop it in our storage. And there you go, he'll start cleaning up that mess the other monkey made. So since we have some extra monkeys just kind of hanging around and we need some food prepped, we're going to put him into teach mode. And we're going to start crafting here. We don't have to finish the crafting, we just have to start it. So if you start it, you can hit the uh, cancel button, which is F on keyboard. And then we go ahead and give him that tool and he will continue to cook for us. Good job. Let's see if we can snipe this bunny over here. Oh, that guy's getting it for us. Port gave up. Too challenging. Snipe him, though. But you can kill rabbits with spears if you place them correctly. Easier said than done. Oh, there we go. Got him. So I currently have everybody clearing out this kind of right side of my base because we're going to build some spike traps to kind of prepare us for the raids that will be coming. But first, we need to build a fence because then after you build a fence, you'll unlock some defensive structures right here that are currently locked. All right, so it's not much of a fence. It's actually more like a post, but that will at least unlock the traps now. So now that we have added all the items to the blueprints, we don't actually want to build these ourselves because, of course, we have lovely monkeys to do it for us. So let's start crafting one, cancel out of that, hand him the tool, and then he'll get to work building these for us. Just make sure you do have to add the materials to the blueprint or he won't start working. So there we go. We have a spike trap. We can just freely walk over that. That will damage any oncoming attackers, which will start to happen fairly soon. Not quite yet. So next, you don't have to worry about this this early, but I do want to show off how you build the raft and the sail and get off this first island before I wrap this up. You do want to make sure you clear your first island. There's a lot of vaults and secrets and all kinds of stuff to find, so you don't have to worry about uh, leaving off of it too soon, but I do want to show that off. Also, another thing you want to do or focus is work on making the better beds because those are going to give you increased health and stamina caps, which is super helpful just for a little bit of everything. So, yeah, let's figure out how to make a raft and a sail. Show him how it's done. We'll start making that raft for us, but we do also need a sail, which you'll see here in a moment once he's done. Here we go. So we can't actually use this until we have that sail. So the sail is going to be located at this spot right here. It's currently locked. So you do have to go through the part of the bed making process, which is going to go with what I said just a moment ago, where you want to make sure you make the improved beds. 
So we're going to go ahead and learn the makeshift rug next. So after we make the wood slat for the first time, which is what we needed for building those spike traps a minute ago, if you want to make some more, uh, animal traps is going to be your best way to get the uh, fur clump, which is what you're going to need to make that rug next. So to get that fur clump, you can either just kill the animals, kill the poor little bunnies, or you can set one of these traps and just have it do it passively. You'll have to check on that trap from time to time. Uh, but that's one way to get one of those clumps if you need some. So after our bunny massacre, we had enough to make the makeshift rug, which unlocked the luxury bed set, which is what we're going to be working towards next. And there we go. The makeshift sail is now craftable. But let's go ahead and plunk down that lovely bed we're working towards. So we want to remove our... It's kind of like a blanket. So we want to remove that blanket. And now when we sleep, as you can see, we will get a stamina increase, which is very helpful. See the lightning bolt above the lightning bolt in the yellow. We now have expanded stamina so we can run around, be more efficient in combat. Oh yeah, that's much better. There we go. We got our sail. We have our little entourage that's going to come with us. If you have some monkeys carrying chests like these guys, you make sure you want to have at least one of them in attack mode. So this guy here is our attacker. Let's make sure he is actually in attack mode. There we go. Now we're ready to take off. Our raft is complete. Hopefully we don't come across any sharks. There are sharks out here. We just happened. Oh, there's a shark. We just happened to find an island. I was just kind of going blindly out here. But luckily we found one just in time. So now we have an entire new island to explore and all kinds of new stuff. There's new creatures on the different islands, uh, new stuff to sleuth and find and figure out. Of course, new vaults. And you pretty much have the whole rest of the game ahead of you from here on out. But hopefully what I showed off... Ooh, that's a boar. We didn't have boars on my first island. I feel like I... But hopefully that helped everybody out in those intro hours. I'm hoping this would take what would normally be about two hours, two and a half hours of progression down into a solid 30 minutes to an hour. Kind of once you know these little optimization efficiency tips for the starting hours. Because I know inventory management can be kind of a bother there at the start. So hopefully this helped you out. Let me know down in the comments. And as always, this has been Alex. I'll be seeing you next time.